Hey, what's up, family? How is it going? This is the 112th episode of Tone's Take. I hope you all had a fantastic Earth Day. I know I did. The weather was beautiful, um, and I just hope that spring is here to stay. But what I wanted to talk about was the country of India, because I, I, I heard about this before, and I didn't really focus on it, and I'm going to focus on it today because apparently um, folks in India are, are boycotting are boycotting Amazon for a very, 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 very stupid and crazy reason. Have you heard about this? So this woman here, her name is uh, Swara Bakshar. She's an Indian actress, and she recently protested against the brutal rape and murder of an eight-year-old Hindu girl, um, Muslim girl, a Hindu Muslim girl, and a Hindu temple. And if you can't really see her sign, I tried to blow it up a little bit more, but you probably still can't see it that well. Maybe if I just zoom in a little bit and maybe move out. It, it, so it says, I am Hindustan. I am ashamed. Um, justice for Asifa, eight-year-old gang raped, murdered, and Devistan temple, hashtag Kathua. And I'm, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing all of that right. But this is, is, is crazy because of the fact that people are actually boycotting. They're boycotting because of this. They're, they're boycotting because Amazon is supporting this message. They're supporting this this actress here. Again, Swara, uh, what was her name? Swara uh, Bakshar. I, I haven't seen her in any movies. Obviously, you know, India is a, a, a huge country all on its own. So for me to even say that is, you know, again, just... You know, I, I've never, I've never heard of her, seen her, and, and rightfully so. I'm just trying to get the autofocus back on the me. But anyway, this is just crazy that people in India are really doing this. So um, the girl, her name is Asifa Bano, and there's a petition for her on Change.org as well. If you search for like justice for Asifa, Asifa's death had had um, Jammu and Kashmir on the edge since last month. These are like um, places in India, and I'm not even gonna act like I know that much about it, but it's just kind of crazy when I read some of the, the India TV news, for instance, that kind of talks a little bit more. Amazon India started a campaign where they ask people what problems they face when they come to new society. To give a celebrity push, Swara Boxer also tweeted and wrote, When I made the big move to a new city, all I wanted was a swanky music system. Music um, being my passion, no matter how much... I, I hunted for it. I couldn't find anything of my choice. In fact, I only got confused. And so that was like the tweet. And then she had at Amazon India. And Amazon India quickly pulled down this tweet, I, I guess because they don't want this sort of backlash um, from people in India. Now, the, the story is just, just weird because... Um, the, the girl who was raped, her name is Asifa Bano. She belonged to the to the Bakarwal community, and I'm reading from this uh, BuzzFeed post, which was written by Pranav Dixit, um, just to give credit where credit's due. Um, so she was a, she was part of a nomadic pastoral tribe, which is primarily um, Sunni Muslim, and her alleged rapists and murderers were right wing right wing Hindus. Um, and and, and it's a fact that has pitted India's nationalist Hindus who support Prime Minister Narendra Modi um, against the rest of the country. And I've even heard that Narendra Modi has been coming under a lot of fire because he hasn't really been trying to face um, this or deal with this uh, at all as well. So Hindu hardliner lawyers, um, for instance, have actually tried to stop officials from taking the accused to court and chanted uh, pro-Hindu slogans. And it's just interesting because I'm reading through some of these tweets that people have come up with. They said, I've canceled my Amazon order, knowing that, you know, Amazon's doing business um, with this actress who is fighting for, you know, against the, the rape and the, the murdering of this young girl. When I read about what happened to this girl, the minor was abducted, raped, and murdered. Um, and then the body of the girl was recovered from a forest. And it, it just kind of goes on to basically say that she fell prey to a conspiracy hatched for months by a custodian of the temple. 
um, it, which is used as a place of worship, not for heinous crimes. Um, and this guy, the, 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 the custodian whose name was Sanji Ram, did allegedly everything in his disposal using money, politicians, and religion to subvert investigations by the criminal branch. He also bribed police officers, university officials. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy um, all the things that went into to hiding and basically protecting the people that are responsible for this girl's death. And then there was this, this YouTube video um, when the news actually did break about what happened. Um, and I just have it playing in the background, but it's, it's just pretty interesting of, of, about everything that's happened. Now, Swara Bakshar, she obviously is a, a, a strong woman. She's very fierce. Um, she came out in another article from the Hindustan Times, I believe it was yesterday, where she basically in an interview said that, you know, these trolls will only make her fight harder. And I really do hope um, that it does and that other people in India actually stand up against this because this is kind of crazy. I mean, it's one thing in the United States to have people that you know, are, are white supremacists or are white nationalists or black nationalists or anti-fascist or, you know, what, what have you. Those are our ideas and beliefs, but I don't think any of them are for in any way the raping of anyone, ex especially, especially an eight-year-old child, an eight-year-old girl. This is, is heinous on just all accounts, and I am sorry um, people of India, if you know people that support um, this level of, of, of nationalism and religion where this is, is acceptable in, in any way. So, so that's all I really wanted to talk about today. Uh, let me know what you think about this story. Again, it, it, this, I believe this happened back in January when the girl w was raped. I'm not sure when they identified or, or found her body finally, but it's just a really sad story. And it's even sadder that there are, are men out there um, that there are people out there that are boycotting a company like Amazon because they are supporting a woman like Swara Boxer, um, Boxer for, for uh, protesting against the raping of a poor eight-year-old girl. So that's all I have um, for the day. Again, let me know what you all think. Um, let me know your thoughts, and I will leave it at that. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching and peace out.